this one is going to be a little bit different. Is this thing on? <laughs> it's still cold outside. Hi guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to my channel. So, I have a problem and that problem is that I live in a two-story mixed commercial residential building that has two separate flats. So, one on the first floor and one on the second on which I live with a mutual hallway leading to each of them. To this point, you probably don't see a problem in any of this. But the thing is, I don't have an outside doorbell that is connected to my flat, which leads to situations like this one. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Plus, I don't have to mention that I don't have any way of opening the hallway door from here. While changing the door or bringing some additional electrical wiring to it was not an option. If you are in a similar situation like me, well, today is your lucky day. Because I'm about to address this problem of mine and fix it retroactively with using these two things from Nuki and UV. P.S. Stick around until the end because I have a coupon code for the Nuki lock. I'll start off with the Nuki smart lock because this is what actually started my quest for a retroactive smart lock solution for my door. One of the advantages of the Nuki is that it's simple to install, no need for any special tools, just a sense for following instructions. You just need to make sure that your lock is compatible with it and you can double check on that for your case on their website. They have a very straightforward wizard that you can run through. There is also an option to get an integrated lock and in that case you're buying the whole door as a solution for them but for that you'll have to plan in advance and get a quote from Nuki while well, this is a really good and versatile retroactive solution that requires minimal changes. I advise you to get the combo pack with the Bluetooth to Wi-Fi bridge so the door lock gets internet connectivity, meaning you can control it anywhere from your smartphone app. I have also got my hands onto their keypad, which makes its use a bit more practical if you don't want to pull your smartphone out. There is also option for a separate remote control, like the ones you have for your garage door. The UFI 2K doorbell was a tad more complicated to install, but nothing that cannot be done within a couple of minutes and poking out a few holes, basically the same thing I did for the Nuki keypad. In my case I had a blank switch, so I have just pulled it off, drilled two holes for the mounting plate, put the mounting plate and that's it, the doorbell module can now be hooked up onto it, granted you got the battery powered one, which I have. With that model you can also choose to power it using wires, just be sure to check what voltage you have, you can step it down if needed, this one works from 16 to 24 volts. I still need to put a plastic cover below it just so it hides that big hole, screw it on together with the frame and that's it. Of course the whole thing is weatherproof, IP65 rated in particular and they claim it can work from minus 20 to 50 degrees celsius. The main reason why I chose Ulfi 2K doorbell over something like a Nest Hello or Ring is because it doesn't require any additional subscription services, plus it can record remotely to its home base too, which is sort of like a small control center for it and other Ufi devices that connect to it, gateway or a bridge if you will, which has an internal 16 gigabytes of eMMC storage, which can record up to 160 days of daily average length footage, after which it overwrites the older ones. It does not have an option to expand storage, although there is a USB port on the back, but that's only for charging the doorbell module itself, maybe they do a firmware update later on. In terms of the setup, you need to do it over a wired connection first, and then you can choose to use Wi-Fi. I did not need to move around the home base too, I have just left it here in my studio, as I've recently upgraded my home network to Unify AC Pro in combination with their Dream Machine Pro, so my coverage is really good in that regard. But I wish there is an option for the camera bell module itself to be connected over the local Wi-Fi to the home base too, rather than going through it, because this way you depend on the home base's wireless signal and not your networks, and if you have a good Wi-Fi setup like this from Unify, you will probably benefit out of it. The video performance of the UFI 2K doorbell is really good, which is something that I've expected as I went through a lot of other reviews. It's also not that bad that I would compromise its other features over the video quality, on the contrary, I'm quite satisfied with it. Although I do not have a lot of reference points when it comes to video doorbells, 
I do know what a good quality video feed should look like, put into context what it's used for. For obvious privacy and security reasons, I can't show you the whole feed because it discloses a bit too much information, but this actually gave me an opportunity to check the camera's video quality feed in a more controlled environment where I can set up different scenes. That said, here are a few custom lit shots for you to judge its performance. As for the lock and its performance, not that it has a complicated task, but it works like a charm, being it over app, keypad or geofencing, you can open it up in a matter of seconds. It's really freeing knowing that you don't have to carry a key around. I have mostly used the manual button on the lock itself when going from within to outside, as it has a lock and go option where you press it just two times and it automatically unlocks and locks within a set time span, default one being 20 seconds. I've also often unlocked it from outside using the keypad or smartphone if it was in my hand at that moment or just prior to coming to the door. You can also choose to auto-lock it if the door has been left unlocked for a certain period. Both apps are really solid, Nokia's one could work a bit on its layout, for example it takes a bit too much for you to get to the activity log and even the lock settings itself. I feel like you need to do a few steps too much in order to get to them. What is cool about it though is the way it's easy to add another user, they just install the app, you give them the access code and bam, that's it. Push notifications work great, they show you every action instantly. The only thing that is a bit weird about them is that you must connect to the Nuki web account in order to get them working on your phone. You can also choose to set how many times the lock turns because some insurance companies require for you to turn it twice or you can just enable night mode which automatically locks it twice and puts the lock in a special energy saving mode. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, you will also get a door open slash close sensor with which I had some calibration issue, but once I managed to do it, it worked without a problem. It tells you if the door is actually physically opened or closed. So that's a separate status from the lock being locked or unlocked. Although you will get four regular AA batteries in the package, I have replaced them with the rechargeable ones right away because for some reason the lock and go function started erroring out on me after a few days of use and once the battery dropped below 90%. I didn't know what was the exact cause of it, but now with these batteries it works just fine, even with the battery being below 90%, it was probably some kind of bug. By the way, Nuki just released a white version of its lock and an extended battery pack, which gets it working for up to a year worth of time, while this should work for about 6 months. As for the Eufy security app, there's plenty of things to go about, I could probably do a separate video on it alone. The most important ones are directly connected to the security functionalities of the camera and not so much for the doorbell part of it, like setting a fencing zone for the camera only to pick up certain areas or for example only to detect humans, so choosing how it operates in terms of it being a security camera, one of which is setting how to operate when you are at home or away for a trip, like a preset profiles. On the other hand, when it comes to it being a doorbell, you have a duplex two-way communication option, although with a hefty delay of 2 to 3 seconds, but it is good enough for impromptu conversation. Smartphone push notifications are also instant, being it for the doorbell or the security function, while the home base 2 serves as a doorbell chime as it has a speaker in it, but you can turn it off if you want to, so only your phone rings. 
Last but not the least, there's also an ability to push the live video feed using Google Home, like Chromecast, while it also supports Amazon's Alexa. All in all, I was really pleased with my choices, although yes, there are definitely some compromises. I got the Eufy 2K Doorbell Home Base 2 combo pack as a part of a Black Friday deal for around 130 euros, while guys over at Nuki were kind enough to provide me with one combo pack for my unbiased review. I was of course completely free to approach this review and do it however I wanted, without any remarks or checkups from their side. They were also cool enough to provide me a coupon code for you to use. You can see it on your screen right now and I will also put it and the link in the description box down below. Mind you, this is not a dedicated sponsored piece of content, it's just something that happened in the moment. That's it for this time from me, thank you once again for watching, if you find this helpful please take a second to toss me a thumbs up because that really helps a lot and if you like what you saw feel free to subscribe and if you already are be sure to press that notification bell down below so don't miss out on a new video and until then catch you later guys.